Hello everybody. Today we are going to, are going to see production planning ticket, support ticket. Swaminath here. So the error they are getting is number range error. Planned order number range should be in this in this number range. Okay. It should be in some other number range. Now we are going to say change it to this number range. Okay. Let's go to the live system. Okay. Let me go to First, let me check the number range. O, P, P, Q. O for orange, P, P for Poland, P for uh, party, Q. Q for coin. Okay. Made it. Go to plant. Made it. Let's go to the number range. Okay. Plant dot. So, 0, 1 is the number range. C, N, 0, 1. So let's see what is the number range. Zero one number range. What is that range? Go to SNRO. SNRO transaction code. PLAF. P. PLAF. PLAF. So it is for the object name for planned order number range. Okay. Display. Let's go to the display. Okay. Go to interval editing. Okay. Intervals. See here. Zero. So this is the number range at first. So net number range is five double three one. So this is the number. They don't want this number. They want the number range between this number. Range. Let's see. Let let me add zero four. Okay. Nine zero 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 two nine one zero four. Okay. This is the number range. Zero, zero four is my number. Okay, let's save this. Continue. Come back. Okay, go to OPPQ. Okay, maintain. Triple zero one is my plant. Go to maintain. Number ranges. Planned order zero four. Go to now my number range is zero four. Zero four. This one. Right? Save it. Let me save this. And done. Then I'm going to check this. I'm going to test this. Let me go to MM01. I'm going to create a material. Okay. Mechanical engineering finished course. Okay. Select sales order data. And then MRP234. Scroll down. I don't want barrows additional present. Enter plan. Enter storage location triple zero one. Enter sales organization triple zero one. My distribution channel is zero one. Cut it. Okay. Finished course. Finished course. Okay. Each. Each. Okay. Enter material group. Press enter. 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 Zero percent. Press enter. Enter. So transportation group, enter transportation group, loading group, press enter. Profit center, let me enter. Enter. So my MRP type is PD. PD MRP. Press enter. Okay. Select the MRP controller. Enter lot sizing procedure EX. EX is my lot size. So order quantity. Press enter. Now go to MRP three first production MRP three four. Go to MRP four. MRP four. Okay. Now select repetitive manufacturing rim profile. Select rim profile. Triple zero one is my rim profile. Now go to production version. The MRP four Z zero zero six. Production version Z006. Okay, enter valid from date, valid to date, select repetitive. Continue. Present. Enter. Save. 458 is my material. Let me create, go to MD61, planned independent requirement. I'm going to create a planned independent record. Enter the material, enter the plan, present. Okay. For the month of 
July 20 for the month of August 30 for the month of September 40 for the month of October 50 60 and 7 okay save it so it is a planned independent requirement okay save it now let me create the let me execute the MRP and check the planned in the planned order planned order number range go to MD02 okay this is my material 458 is my material see here six planned order was created six planned order okay now let me go to MD04 and check MD04 should be the C here number range Nine triple zero triple zero triple zero is my number. Nine triple zero triple zero zero one. Nine triple zero triple zero double zero two. So see here. So I have created the number. Now it stands closed. Let me close the. Let me close the ticket. Thank you.